Terrence Bud Crawford back Shakur Stevenson. Even though he fell asleep in the middle of his fight. <laughs> no jokes. Terrence Bud Crawford gives some advice to Shakur Stevenson in the aftermath of his lackluster performance against Arthur Hartunium. Let's talk about the very, very interesting advice and point of view of the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Let's get the 300 let's 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 address the 300 pound gorilla in the room something that was said by Shakur Stevenson yesterday on Twitter where in response to what people were saying about the lack of fan interest in his fight against Arturum Hartunian last a Saturday in his hometown where it was put up on uh ESPN that a bunch of people walked out. Shakur Stevenson says something to the fact that people were paid to walk out. I don't think there was people running around uh, getting money handed to them for those guys to, for those people to be walking out that fight. However, I will say that um, they were paid to record it though. And the fact of the matter is the fight wasn't going to go to a knockout and the people left, but uh yeah, man, Shakur Stevenson not necessarily doing himself the best job with that particular comment. But, hey, man, you know, dude's under a lot of pressure because uh, a lot of people talking a lot of smack. I think they're talking too much smack. Uh, and um, so he's got to say what he's got to say, which brings us back to what Terrence Crawford said about Shakur Stevenson and his, and his uh, performance and the information that he put out. Uh, the advice that he put out to Shakur on Twitter, which was, hey, man, if they basically do your talking, these people going to get it, these people going to keep on talking too. so, hey, you know, you got to show people what um, you have to show uh, people, give people the same energy that, they, that they're going to give you. So, you know, I've been looking at thinking about what uh, Shakur Stevenson's been doing Shakur Stevenson, if you've not noticed, has been tweeting almost as much as Ryan Garcia was. It's like they have really taken an offensive <laughs> on social media, especially Twitter, where there's more tweets by them than there are by, you know, the, the a number of people that are are they or that are talking about uh, bad about them, both him and uh, Ryan Garcia. But, you know, so the advice of standing firm and on that yeah man that's you know that's what they that's what he should do and i and i applaud him for standing up and continuing to speak out for himself now the better option or an option that he should do at the same time is make his fights a little bit more exciting and i don't know what he can do about that because he's such a ter uh, tremendous fighter such a tremendous fighter however the people that are out there criticizing and criticizing him and calling him Shaboring, sleeping sun, and all kind of, <laughs> all kind of, <laughs> very, 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 very tough criticism uh, on uh, Shakur Stevenson. They kind of got a point. And when people can flash pictures of uh, that looks like Andre Ward and Terrence Crawford both falling asleep in the audience of the fight <laughs> for Sh for Shakur Stevenson, yeah, you know that's just not a really, really, really good look, man. I mean, he's labeled he's going to be labeled with that boring thing until he gets a little bit more exciting. But, um, you know, I'll say that and I, and I continue to maintain it. The reason why people are tripping so hard is because <laughs> is because if you and this is on the lines of talking a lot on social media, they're going to want you to back up what you say. You know, they're going to they're going to want you to bet. If you say that you're going to destroy somebody, you're going to stop somebody. Look, you know, how many times can you say that before it's time to be like, yeah, all right, actually show somebody 
you know, doing what you promised to do. And that's what you do hear a lot of uh, feet. I hear a lot of feedback about that, about Shakur Stevenson. That's the number one criticism. It's like, if you're going to talk, if you're going to talk about it, you got to be about it, which is something that Jermonte Davis was able to do. So the fact, the combination of Shakur Stevenson consistently saying that he's going to knock somebody out or he's going to do something and then Two times in a row, it didn't happen. Now, please note, two times in a row. In his adjustment, as he's moved up to 135, he's uh, two of the last, two of the three fights that he's had have gone the distance. But it's not like Shakur Stevenson has never provides excitement before. But, you know, it is a what have you done for me lately type of uh, situation. And there's a lot of scrutiny coming uh, that is going to, um, follow you when you're in the position to have one of the biggest fights in all of boxing. Now, while there is definitely a lot of pressure on Shakur Stevenson, I don't think that Shakur Stevenson should have his head down too low <laughs> because the biggest fight that there can you there that there can be made in boxing pretty much that realistically can be made because of course, you know, there is Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavides. If Canelo Alvarez ever decided that he wants to fight Ken, uh David Benavides, but other than that particular fight, hey, man, Shakur Stevenson and uh, Javante Davis is about as big as it gets. I think that, that can do or it's one of the bigger fights at the very least. Um, you may be able to argue that maybe Javante and Tiafimo Lopez maybe may do more. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be 100 percent confident about that, but. You know, it's one of the bigger fights. It's going to do, I think, Shakur Stevenson and Gervonta does as well, if not better than, um, well, I don't know, man. I think Lomachenko is probably going to do better. I was about to lie and say, <laughs> and say, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't see it getting as far, far as, uh, you know, being a bigger sale than uh, Lomachenko. But no, Lomachenko and Gervonta probably is the bigger fight between that and Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, Lomachenko's fan base is more uh, established. But, it's Shakur, Shakur Stevenson, though, as time goes on and after that fight between Gervonta and Lomachenko take place, if Gervonta is able to beat Lomachenko, then Shakur is the next it's the next fight. And that ain't a bad option. So, um, yeah, I just think I kind of agree with Shakur with um, Terrence Crawford in that that. Shakur needs to continue to speak out in the media, continue to, you know, defend himself. Um, his supporters are going to ride with him. His critics are going to hate him. He's going to he's got the black hat on when it comes to Javante Davis. But look, at least he's still in the conversation with Javante Davis. You know, there's some other people that are no longer really in that conversation and really aren't in a position to get the fight. Shakur is a is the WBC 130 pound champion. So you know, that's going to be in his uh, to his favor as long as he holds that belt, because um, eventually these guys are going to have to fight. And Gervonta say, said he's going to fight him eventually anyway. So, you know, but uh, criticism kind of deserved. That's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. Deuces.